Hey guys, my name is Ismos and today I'm reviewing my first commercial add-on uh, that I've created for Blender and it's called the Cloth Library, which is a library of different assets uh, for your character dressing or set dressing. You can see if you go to uh, Blender Market, uh, I'll be leaving a link in the description if you want to get the add-on or check it out. I uh, also added a video demo to show you how it works. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will also go to Blender just to show you how it works directly there. But uh, here is uh, the add-on. You can see I have a few different elements i have pre-made elements and uh, simulatable elements pre-made elements are just elements that are already simulated you can just drop in drop them into the scene and uh, have them uh, and use them as uh, they are uh, but i also have uh, the pre-simulated or oh, sorry simulatable uh, cloth elements and uh, they are denoted with that with an s uh, the pre-made are de denoted with a p and uh, the simulatables are pre-noted by an s uh, so that uh, you can just import them into your scene and then uh, they can you hit play are uh, they simulated so that they can uh, form or shape around uh, the character you have uh, added them to uh, so let's dive into blender uh, just to show you how uh, the add-on works so after installation uh, if the installation just going under edit preferences after you download the add-on just hit install and uh, navigate to where you have downloaded the add-on and then you can add it activate it and uh, it should be on the left side panel of your uh, 3d view uh, you see it's called the cloth library i'll try to create a ui or a user interface that is very minimum with only showing buttons or settings that are necessary for example we are looking at pre-made assets and uh, you don't need to simulate anything so you don't see any cloth settings that's why you see this uh, cloth settings are set to not uh, cloth objects so you don't see the settings so let's add a pre-made asset and uh, right now we are looking at i think a uh, carpet so if you click on that you can see we get uh, this ring code carpet here you can scale it up and uh, add any materials you want right now the assets don't have any materials but uh, in the future i'll be adding the materials in the pro version of the add-on because right now it's uh, uh the uh light version uh, that is available on uh, uh, the market right now so well detailed uh curtains and turn on my random colors here so that you can see everything nicely and uh, you can see we have some jackets as well yeah so as for the simulatables uh, if we go to the women's cloth here uh, you can see that uh, these simulatables are just pre-made garments are uh, that uh, when you hit play they take on the shape of the car of uh, whatever shirt dress trouser or whatever you're seeing in the thumbnails here so let's give it a try here i'm just going to select this uh browse here and see how it's made and uh, uh for this to take up the shape of the shirt you need a character if you don't have one i have added this a uh, pose dummy that you can activate and uh, it should uh, uh, give you the shape uh, there and it's going to act as a collider object for this to collide on so you just have to hit play and uh, then the simulation will take place i also added uh, some settings here so you see you have the quality cloth size uh, object collection distance and uh, things like that uh, but uh, here you can see uh, the cloth is taking shape and uh, because we have a collision object uh, as a, the character as a collision object uh, is taking up uh, the shape of the shirt uh, conforming to the body of uh, the character uh, this pose dummy is also very useful if you have your own uh, character you can shape them or size them to this character because this character is uh, to world uh, scale uh, so you can shape them that way so that uh, you get the right size uh, for the shirt and everything else uh, but uh, if you don't want to do that you can just give your character a collision property and, uh, and you can see now what we have here it takes up the shape uh, that we have there and uh, after you're done you can even increase uh, for example let me show you how to what, I, what happens if I increase the cloth size? Apply settings here. And you can see because I have world sewing on, I, you can see some of the sewing lines have been removed. Uh, if I turn that off, apply cloth settings, you can see that we have a sewing line here, uh, there. Uh, but uh, if I have that on, and I'm increasing this world uh, distance, I should get rid of most of the sewing lines and uh, it, if you increase it too high you can see you start to lose uh, a lot of the details you have in the cloth so you should be very careful with that so uh, make sure that it's not too large not too small so something like uh, 0.0, .0 uh, 
three should be good and now uh, what was i trying to do um yeah i was trying to show you what happens if you increase or reduce the cloth size uh, so if i go reset at the seam uh, playback uh, because i've increased the cloth size i uh, see that uh, uh this will also uh, the, the size of the cloth i uh, will also increase it's almost becoming a dress uh, for her and i guess if you were going for that uh, that could also uh, work so we just have to wait for the simulation to uh, take a few seconds uh, to simulate and uh, it's actually a dress now and uh, yeah so those are pre-simulated elements you can see and after you're done you can give it a world apply and also apply the cloth seam now you can add other elements as so for example let me let me actually just get rid of this and add uh, this uh, woman's sleeve and just bring it into position you can see this is a, a pre-made and i can just size it uh, to the size of the character i'm just going to bring this in i'm still adding more features on this add-on uh, so uh, for example uh, i want to add a scout mode uh, to this brush as uh, to this uh uh, add-on so that uh, you don't have to go to uh, the scalp mode here uh, to bring these details back in let me just increase the brush a bit and uh, reduce uh, the strength quite a lot just so we can so you can see these pre-made assets are pretty useful and so you can use a combination of uh, the pre-made uh, which, which are denoted by a p and uh, are uh, the simulatables which are denoted by an A. So let's go to the all cloth, I think. All simulated, all simulated, so that uh, we get some pants here uh, to use in the scene. And uh, I can just, uh, yeah, hit play. I think uh, the quality is a bit too high, so it's going to, let me just put it at around seven. Uh, you need to apply uh, the settings and then you should be good to go. And uh, you can see in this area, uh, the cloth, uh, because of the how the rig is set up, uh, this is going, uh, this trouser is going outside uh, the, uh, the, uh, the leg. So what you can do is uh, just tab into edit mode and uh, you have these islands here uh, that you can move around. Moving them around doesn't change uh, the settings here. You still have access to the settings. So if uh, the garments don't conform, nicely because our car different characters are going to have different uh, shapes uh, so they may not fit directly so you just move go to edit mode and uh, move these elements a bit and you can even go to the uh, settings here the modifiers and apply the mirror modifier if you want to work without the mirror modifier so i can just move this part move that and, uh, this side fitting nicely in the future also be adding more settings or where you don't have to go into edit mode uh, to move uh, these garments around and uh, yeah so now you hit play now you can see everything conforming uh, to the body as we want and uh, again after you're done with the simulation you just have to apply the cloth setting and uh, then you can yeah we have this uh, then you can uh, sculpt if you want you can uh, add a subdivision surface so that uh, you have the wrinkles and uh, now you can go to sculpt mode and uh, brush some of these details on top of other uh, wrinkles that you have just made so something like that yes and uh, that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video again if you want to get the download uh, the add-on uh, the link will be in the description Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.